Welcome everybody to another episode of Bones and Gary. Uh, little update here. Where the heck have we been? Well, as I thought I was getting better, you well, I found out that I actually was not. I actually uh, had pneumonia, guys. So I had to go get better. And unfortunately, uh, other Let's Players were not around. We've had this game waiting for us for a while. I'd like to thank the developer here for letting us give this a try. I believe this is called... Uh, Sea Oak. I think the tea is silent. We're gonna give this game a try. Oh, look at that artwork, eh? Long time ago. Long oh. ago. I'm not sure. Somewhere nearby yet far, a kingdom of crescent and double star was ruled with strength, heart, and wisdom unseen by beloved monarch, the gold haired good queen. Always close, right by her throne, was the little princess Chuck. Chuck. Hardly ever seen alone. Where queen went, daughter would walk. Yet soon would end the time of peace. Ill news came from the frontier. The phoenix, an ancient beast, brought to flames all that came near. <laughs> Queen said, My dear, you must understand. I have to leave to a distant land to fight for you and all I hold dear. But in her heart, the princess felt fear. I'm going to say right here before we turn the page, so far, uh, the voice acting quality is phenomenal. I get a nice 80s vibe from this. It reminds me of Jim Henson's Storyteller. I'm liking this already. Leading an army, away the queen rode. Everyone prayed for her quick return home. Except one, who in the castle remained, to use the queen's absence for his own gain. I mean, I don't know if you all, uh... What I mean about the 80s here is this reminds me more of this. Is more 70s. A lot of old TSR art, a lot of old fantasy art. This has a distinctly muted color palette in the background that I'm really digging. It does. It reminds me of old 70s, 80s art. Very nice. The royal wizard, burned by ambition, had sworn with evil forces to to realize his sinister plan to rule the minds of all women and men. Set upon the house tower, the wizard unleashed his power. The sky went black and lightning stormed. The castle began to transform. Towers once bright became dark as night. From walls and floors broken, crawled horrors unspoken. The vile wizard and his minions made the castle their dominion. While the princess bravely fought, she eventually too was caught. To the dungeon take her! A prisoner make her! Keep her there and lock the door! Interrupt me no more! Said the wizard and disappeared. Yet what he really should have feared was leaving but a single lock between escape and Princess Chalk. Um, I also want to say, I apologize to the developer for getting her name wrong, the name of the game wrong. Uh, I've never seen that spelled like that, but that's kind of neat. Alright guys, I think this is us. So let's Oh, I'm gonna like this. This reminds me of Monkey Island. I am a massive LucasArts point-and-click fan. I love point-and-click games as a guy who grew up at the dawn of computer gaming. This is right up my alley. So we're gonna play around a little. Clicking us, I think, is good. Okay, so inventory. It's pretty self-explanatory. I have a medallion to start with. 
Um, is a medallion magic at all? I can look there. Nope, he says. Nope, we're not touching it. Let's put that medallion back. I fear the answer is probably much simpler. What's down there? There's a three. I'm wondering if this is going to be a, a game to look at, for example, uh, pixel work, with pixel hunting. Interesting. Achievement unlock, looking for trouble. Uh, so, what a great treat to come back uh, from being sick, ill. <laughs> oh, God, my dude. And uh, getting a game like this, man, to start. Um, you'll notice we had a decent different subscribers. Um, it happens, we haven't been around for a while. I mean, I went from doing three Let's Plays a week. Uh, we're trying to still wiggle around a bit and find our format the way we like it. Yes, I changed my face mask some. This is the Mortal Kombat one that I was telling y'all about that I like from SA Shields. Um, who does all but my original Bones mask. All the other face masks you see me get are from SA Shields. No, they're not sponsoring me. I just, if I like something, I'm going to tell you how I like it. If I don't, I'll tell you how it sucks. Um, all right. So, sorry, I'm like clicking on everything here in wonderment. Uh, let's get serious now. Okay, so when I right clicked, that thing popped up. Can I look at it? No. So I just hit a medallion to start. Hello, princess, which I'm in this. I have a medallion, which I do in this. That bread seems important. Oh, doesn't it? Does. Nice. Damn. Did I get that dummy to accidentally give me something extra? I think I did. What do we have now? Just some medallion? I think we're onto something with this. Okay. What is to the left of that? Am I wrong here, guys? You'll notice there's something new. See it right there? Look. Clearly the medallion is important to use. I don't believe I'm using it correctly, however. Can I throw it at him? No. Can I hit something with that now? The plate seems like the logical choice. This game seems like it follows a decent logical route. Of course I can't do shit with that one, I think. I swear to god. You nasty ass guy one. Don't be shit talking to here. What happens if I kind of drop it out there? Can I do that? Aha! I did a little less less thing. You also hear dogs running around in the background, I'm sorry guys. Uh, my male dog has decided he digs our female rescue dog, so he is trying to put the moves to her. Um, call it puppy love. But ouch! I warned y'all I was a dad. You gotta give me one dad joke. Finally! God, look at the animation on this, guys. That's a lot of... It's a lot of frames. Have you noticed that? There's a decent amount of framework here. What is all this so there's our villain. Uh, who seems very villainy? Uh, I'm supposed to conquer the world if I can't have a moment of peace in my own Thank you. Oh, shit. And you, be quiet. Um, that was my amulet. You son of a bitch. I'll be back for that. Jerk. Well, guys, we have some interesting developments in this game. One, he is not here now. 
So I can't jump. Can I climb on him? I bet I can. I can. With no guard in the way. At least. Oh, shit. <laughs> Good. Get up, girl. Get. Let's not stick. Nope. Okay. That bread is going to be handy for something. Because it's a, something I can grab in Adventure Game. Um. Obviously, Adventure Game 101. Anything you can grab, grab. You all know that by now, I'm sure. But if you have never done a point and click game, one of the first things I will tell you all is that nothing is insi as insignificant as it looks normally. So grab everything you can. Now, usually the solution earlier on might be in the same. Oh. Thank you, Mr. Squid. Mighty not see you. Hey, Satra. Um, I like him. Mainly because he didn't eat me, and that's a good quality in a creature, isn't it? I don't know why I'm so obsessed with opening that thing. I just feel like there would be something really neat in there. So, obviously, I know you're all probably yelling at me, so I'll just leave the effing room. I just want to make sure I don't miss anything. You never know. I backtracked in enough LucasArts games to know how this works. But we're gonna go ahead and assume that I really didn't miss anything. Also, what the hell was this? I don't know if you can hear them in the background or not. My dog is seriously trying to roll my ass. Uh, the other dog. Our, our uh, non rescue dog, you've seen him before on the channel. Oh, don't move. If you don't move, he can't see you. Do you see me? Uh, so hi! I'm just gonna... <laughs> oh, thank you! Twice now, that monster has been my MVP. Dig it. Look how pissed she looks. She looks so mad. Hey. Hey. I guess I'm not jumping there. The cat looks boy. I like him. Uh, although I'm a sucker for cats anyway. I like cats. Explore everything. Yeah. Cool. Come on, spider! Well, obviously, then, I need to put this thing in there in the right order, do I not? Uh, so... Yep, that's what I thought. These go in a certain order. Yep. I can't believe our dog. I wish you could hear him in the background, just trying to be smooth. It's not working, but, uh... As I was saying, he is a chihuahua, she is a pit bull. I'll let you all work out the logistics of how he's trying to flirt with her. And while adorable, uh, it's obviously impossible, but hey, more power to him for trying, right? Love knows no bounds, guys. Alright, uh, so, I'll be coming back to that thing for now. I guess this way for now I go. Oh, that's really bad news. Do I have animated deaths? Am I going to die here? Okay, so I'm not going that way. For now. If I can't go that way, and I can't go that way. Can I fit through that little thing? Is that something I can do? I didn't really see anything else to mess with there, you know? I have nothing else in my pocket. It looks like an, I can only fit one thing in my pocket, actually. If I'm being honest here, guys. Aha! I didn't look deep enough. Can I just bring a little Spidey with me? He's cute. Oh! Look at 
that? I'm all ghosty when I wear it, eh? Is it all that's in there? Even if it is, it's useful. Better let me cross that, uh, that area, won't it, guys? Well, look at me being all Harry Potter and shit. Stuff I mean. Sorry, developer, I don't mean to swear. Now, obviously, this is the moment I want this. Yup, I'm not here. Hehe. <laughs> I have a feeling that's going to provide very useful. Ah! Knock it off! Please don't call, girl. I don't want to be responsible for the death of a child in this game. Oh, shit! Shit, shit, shit! Really, guys? You got it, kid. So this is time, kinda. Oh! Well, 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 sneaky bitches. Shit. Well, now what do I do? Can I just walk back that way? I really don't know what to do here, guys. I don't. The only thing I know for sure... Can't climb up. If I hit anything that happens, what if I put it back in my pocket for now, eh? Can I, like. Go with that. Anybody see any solution here? Is there a help menu? Oh boy. I'll give it one one more good try here. Alright, now hold on. Let me think. So oh shit, that doesn't help it, does it? Okay, so I'm stuck right now in that room. The solution has got to be in that room. If I have a walk at all, that happens. There's nothing I can look at, right? For the first time in a point and click game since the original Monkey Island, I'm going to need a hint. I don't want to stop this game because, frankly, um, I'm digging the art. But I'm going to need a. Oh, uh, stop it! First stay back, guys, right? And right away, that happens. All right, all right, all right. Mm -hmm. All 
Alright, this is definitely not going to be easy, and I think this is still going to require timing if I know what I'm doing. Which I don't, but we're going to try. Better than we were, guys. Better than we were. So I really gotta look around in this game then, don't I? Uh-huh. Get up, kid. There's a lot to this game. This is actually like a timed... This isn't your normal point-and-click puzzle game. We can just... Poor kid. Say so up, down. I gotta be very careful here. These movements are actually pretty tight, so I gotta be very careful when I do this. So first up is jump. This kid's gonna get a scholarship, I'm telling you. That's a duck. See what I mean? It's it's precise. Let's try this again. We can do it. We can do it. I think it's on how they bounce when they get the first step on that. So this is a jump or a duck rather, definitely. It's a third. What are you? You're a duck again. Are you kidding me? There's no way to tap that one. I'll say this is definitely a harder point and click game than I was expecting from a point and click game. Um, Puzzles are a little more proactive, and they definitely seem timed versus, like, old-fashioned Monkey Island stuff, you know what I mean? We did it, guys. We got somewhere. These dogs are worn out now. Which is good. Because I can hear myself think at this point. Oh, he's bad news, isn't he? Can I slap that right out of his hand? Probably not. I think he will kill me, maybe. Can I sneaky past him up there? No. That's bad news. Don't do that shit. He's a cat. Okay, so. My options here. One. Except for one thing. Okay, all this is time, it looks like. I believe it is, guys. I believe it is. Why did I do that? I didn't mean to do that. Alright. Valuable, yes. Can I pick that thing up? I feel like I can cut something with this, or do something with it. Let's fish that out, eh? That seems important. Oh, 
I thought I was dead. Well, hello again, my spider friend. Um, so yeah, I'll say this about the girl. She's got some moxie. Two, this game is deceivingly more difficult than you would expect from a simple point-click game. So there's that. And yes, we needed a hint, a bit here and there. I do think a simple hint system here and there might be decent for this game, but I'm not going to lie to you. This is quite a charming little game, and so far I've really been enjoying it. So, now we have the problems. Sticky spider web with... Can I combine it? Can I combine you? Yep, I've played enough of these games to have seen this one. I'm wondering if I'm gonna need spider web like glue up here, I don't know. Alright guys, so we got that far on our own. That was the best little toaster ever. Do I want to go here? Can I go here? Nope, I don't want to go there, according to her. That's a no-go, baby. I don't know, I'm not you. I feel that way all the time. I never know what I'm doing. I do feel like, uh... What else am I missing? Is there something else here, guys? Probably, eh? Whatever happened to my little climbing sticks? Am I a lot of them? I got no more climbing sticks in there? Where the F did they go? I didn't pick them up. I didn't pick them up clearly. Don't be pouty. Look at all pissed. Alright, good. So you really gotta be specific in this game here. I, th I thought I still had them at first. I'm not gonna lie to you. Yes, it is. She's so sassy, eh? Alright, guys. Gotcha. Run. Okay. So, I still think the solution is in this. I know what I gotta do now. Or do I? Thought I did. I just sit here. Does he just climb her? No, he doesn't. This has got to do something, right? Alright. You see what I'm saying here? You really got to try everything, guys. Uh. 
Um, I do like the game, however. Shit. See you, suckers. Now, see, these are the moments I feel like this game really shines. Some of the close-up art, the expression work. That's pretty cool. They do, though. The goblins remind me like something out of Labyrinth. Am I wrong here, guys? Really, uh... Okay, look at that moon. It's got a face on it. Okay, I get it. This is gonna be a sticky situation. Let me see if we can do this. Gotta admit, gotta admit, guys, I'm really digging this one. I like point and clicks, but this one, ah, magnifique. Uh, I am loving it so far. This is a pretty damn good game. If y'all don't know much about it, I'm gonna go ahead and recommend you pick this one up, actually. The music, the art, it's not too easy. Uh, it makes you actually work for stuff. Like, you really gotta stay on your toes with this one. And that's surprising, but pretty fun, actually. So, um, well done, because I'm liking it. I really am. I think this is quite a fun little game here. Oh my god. We had a little greedy that last time, you guys. I did. You guys can't hear the dogs down here. Oh boy, that's gonna be a problem. How do I deal with you now? And he's moving quicker. Holy shit, that was crazy. Uh, anyways, sorry guys for the pneumonia. The things I say. Uh, we have some great reacts coming up. Along with some other fun stuff. Sneaky beaky like. I have unlocked sneaky beaky like. And I'm not gonna lie, I'm pretty proud of that one. That was a lot of fun. It was a very. I'm sorry, guys. These dogs in the background. If you could hear how crazy my dogs are going, it's amazing. Um. Holy cow. I feel like this is another one of these where this puzzle is not going to last forever. Can we distract them? Let's look at that spider web, don't I? She won't move right now with them like that. She won't go anywhere with them like that. Is there anything I can pick up from over here? That looks important, guys, doesn't it? Nope, she's just not willing to move anywhere. Yeah, it leaves me with them, spider web, and god knows what. And yes, in case you're wondering, I certainly have been looking at hints, because I, uh, want to make this video interesting for you guys, so I don't want to just sit here and stare at the screen for ages. Um, I don't know. I don't know, I don't know, honestly. Oh, 
Mm. Yeah, she ain't moving at all. And anything. We're gonna get out of here. I can't. I can't even leave. Get, girl. Get. She won't go anywhere. So anyways, we're gonna save it here. Um, thank you guys very much for hanging out. Please pick up Chuck. Amazing game. As you can see, the art is fantastic. I'm going to have to learn the ropes a little more with this game. Real-time events in a point-and-click game. That alone is unique enough for you all to pick this up, but please, let's give a little credit here to a developer that clearly cares about their product and does some beautiful music, art, and voice acting all top-notch. I love it. Interesting. Brings out a little mirthful feeling. A kid like wonder. Um, sorry our last video was dark. I believe I was coughing a lot in that one. Uh, basically when I went to the hospital, I found out that I had pneumonia so badly that, uh, well not hospital, but to the doctor, that I, he was shocked that I wasn't going to the hospital because I'd had it for a while. So, three different medications later, including a whole Z-pack of antibiotics and uh, a type of cough suppressant that came in pill form. It was so strong. And then one other thing he put me on, which was a type of steroid. Uh, it was fun, guys. Not at all fun. So, we are back officially. The backiest of backs. As you can hear, no more coughing. Knock on wood. Go easy, guys. And uh, thank you guys very much for checking the game out. Click below as always to pick up a copy. You guys have a great day, man. Good to be back.